Hello, everybody. Andrew Majewski here with Dental L Tutoring. So it is October, which means that a lot of you have taken your September exam and found out that you have passed, which is amazing, right? So that means you are now um, officially dental hygienist. So that is so exciting. Depending on where you live, um, you might have to wait a month or two to start practicing, depending on when you can get your certificate in the mail all of that other fine print stuff, but very soon you will be able to start working, which is awesome. We were all new at some point, and I totally understand. You are probably nervous as heck. You're probably very excited, but also nervous as heck. <laughs> and if you've worked in a dental office before, um, depending on where you did your internship, you might not have felt the most comfortable because when people are new and when they're learning, as I said, we are nervous, we don't know what to do, we don't know if we can ask questions. We want to ask questions, but not too many questions. But more importantly, you need to first look for a place to work. And that involves going through the whole interview process and trying to find a place that will accept the fact that you are new. So um, I'm going to help you guys with that a little bit. So with this video, I'm talking about the newest course that I do have for the new dental hygienist, but more importantly, I want to talk to you guys about how you can really sell yourselves as a new dental hygienist. So I do have some videos uploaded on YouTube. If you guys type in the search engine, um, I have interview tips. I probably have three videos on those. Um, and that will help you guys so much in really being able to say the right things and to not say the wrong things. And if they ask you questions, how to, how to properly answer them and how to really sell yourself as a new dental hygienist who doesn't know anything, but you're excited to learn. Now, first and foremost, I, it depends on where you live, because I live in Kitchener currently, and where I am here, like Kitchener, London, Woodstock, we are short dental hygienists. So we will literally almost take anybody if you're a good dental hygienist. It doesn't matter if you're new, old, whatever, we don't care. We just need somebody to work and see patients. So it's a little bit easier here where as long as you have a good head on your shoulders, you show up on time, your resume looks good, you will be hired. Like you will be hired on the spot. But I do understand that depending on where you live, it might be harder to find a job, especially as, as we're saying, if you're new. So the best thing to do, you guys, is, you know, show your motivation, you know, show the fact that you will do anything it takes to show the office that you are amazing. Everybody has to start somewhere, but make sure to let them know that, hey, I was the top in my class. I saw 33 patients. Um, I still have patients messaging me, you know, saying that they want to come see me. You could, you know, like make it personal and do not say things that everybody else says. You know, everybody says that they're willing to learn, that they'll do anything they can. Yes, they're new, but they, they want to show them that they're awesome. You know, yes, say those things too, but take it a step further. I know where I work now. Um, the, the dentist, we are looking into anybody, but we are looking for new um, dental hygienists now. And what she pretty much looks for is somebody who is confident, but she wants that person to understand that yes, you are new, you have a lot to learn. We might not be able to take the time to teach you and train you on everything, but we will do the best we can. So why am I telling you this? Is I want you to think of things that the dentist might be thinking, okay? Think of things that they might be thinking and answer their questions before they ask them, okay? Such as, you should say something like, you know, I do, I do understand that I am new. You're probably thinking you're taking a risk on me, but I will be there early anytime. I will stay late anytime you need me to. I love working with uh, patients, even if I don't 
know them because quite often, right, we don't know them. They will not feel like I am new because I will, I'm confident in, in what I know. I am confident in the, in the experience that I have so far and they won't know that I'm new. If I have questions, I would love to be able to come to somebody to ask them, but I am here to show you that I am a confident dental hygienist. You know, you don't have to say those things exactly, you know, make things your, your own, but we love to hear that you are confident. We love to hear that you don't mind coming in early. We love to hear that you don't mind staying late. We love to hear that you love to talk to patients. We love to hear that we can easily train you and you're not stuck in your ways where you won't listen to what people are trying to tell you. You can say things like you love learning new things. You you have so much to learn and you're so ex excited to learn. So do you get the idea so far? Like I could, I could talk about this for hours, but do you get the idea so far? So this brings me back to my course, um, Dental LRDH. So this is the perfect course for a new dental hygienist because we literally have everything in here that you need to know for getting started in an office because everything's overwhelming. You're probably thinking, how do I write in a chart? You know, how do I write if the chart's on the computer? How do I do that? How do I book the next appointment? How do I know if they need to come in every three months to, you know, four months, eight, nine months, you know, do, how do I send things through to insurance? How do I know if the gums are moderately bad or very severe, you know, all of these things you did learn, but it's putting it all together and you might be afraid to ask, right? So look inside this course. It literally has everything that you need to know, which is awesome. So the exciting thing is, is that you will see a mix of PowerPoints, but mainly it is me talking. So um, actually, I'll show you guys, I don't know if you guys can see better, but this is inside the actual course here. Um, so basically, you would log in and see this, okay? Um, actually, it doesn't look quite like this. It looks better because this is just sort of me, um, my area in the back where I put everything into but you can pretty much see everything, right? And you can go, okay, so I'm new. Okay, so let's see what she has to say here. So I am literally talking about everything you are probably thinking. You're probably thinking, how do I get a job interview? Well, I talk about that right here. And then you might be thinking, well, how do I sound like I'm a pro dental hygienist when I'm not? I talk about that, you guys, right here. You might be saying, how do I stay organized to keep on time? Because I don't know what I'm doing. I have a couple of those right here where I talk about all of those. And um, uh, the videos are anywhere from like 10, um, 10 minutes to 45 minutes long. So you guys will learn everything. Um, and then taking it a step further, you might be saying, okay, um, I kind of want a raise. I have been working for three months. They did promise me a raise. How do I get about talking about this? I talk about that too. I talk about things that you're all thinking but don't necessarily ask. Like, what do you do when you see nervous patients? What do you do when you see children who don't use their toothbrush? What do you do when you go to pick up the piezo and something doesn't work? I talk about all of that. And, you know, as I said, these are all things that you want to know, but you might not know to ask until it actually happens to you in the dental office. And then you're like, oh shoot, I wish I had watched that video where she was talking about what to do when the piezo doesn't work. Oh my goodness, I feel like a fish out of water. I don't know what to do. So I go through everything, plus the assessment. I talk about that. I talk about perio, how to talk to perio about your patients. I do talk about tax time a little bit, I talk about the fun stuff. I talk about x-ray taking services. So as you guys can see, there's a lot here. You don't have to go through everything obviously right away, but there's a ton of stuff here. Even at one point, if you want to open up your own practice like I did, I talk about that as well. 
So let me know, you guys, if you have any questions. Um, but you should be excited that you are now a dental hygienist, everybody. Yay! I'm so excited for you. Let me know if you need anything. Um, I will leave the link for you guys to my course on the bottom here. Um, it's just um, dentalL.podia.com slash dentalL-RDH. Easy peasy, but I will still leave the link for you guys on the bottom. It is on sale now, um, and it is only 110, and you have the full course for a lifetime. So you might as well sign up for it. It will have too much, inf um, too much information for you to start. You'll be very overwhelmed. But as you start practicing, you will want to learn more, and then you'll say, okay, now I'm all set for module two. Because remember, you guys, look at all of this. There's tons here, right? So for 110, you can get all of that, plus new things will be uploaded all the time. So as I said, thank you guys so much for watching, and good luck. This is an exciting time, and I'll see you guys in the next one.